Hello there my good friends of YouTube, um, I'm sharing a few things with you today, I've got uh, this inverter out of a microwave oven and another uh, TV board from a 26 inch TV, these have been given to me today. Um, I'm going to talk about this inverter which is the inverter to replace the traditional iron core high voltage transformers which give out 2 kV. Um, the reason why they've uh, basically this, they've, they're starting to produce these now instead of the iron cores because they're cheaper to uh, to mass produce rather than the iron, traditional iron core transformers which I would prefer to be honest with you um, because they're uh, just extremely very, they're a lot more robust um, I think you know but uh, they're a lot more deadly of course these are a lot more harder to uh, to get going because you do need a, some sort of square wave to, I think it's some I think it's a square wave that you need to actually start this which is that the input just there and go back to what's on the board We'll start off over here, nice um, wire wound uh, resistor. Then you've got the um, rectifier just there, which AC to DC. And on the other side of the heat sink, you've got a nice RGBT. I believe these are about 1500 volts to around about 80 amps, if I remember rightly. If it's the one that I think it is that ends in 32, is it? No, 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 it's something else. I think it's 321, I'm not sure. Yeah, it is three, two, one. And then, if you can just see that, I've had so many of these, and you get to remember what they look like and what they are. Let's see if we can get that down there and see. No, you duff phone. And it's not going to do it, is it? There you go. You can just about see that. Three, two, one at the end. Yes, the good RGBT is extremely fast switching. And then you got another MOSFET just there, which is the Toshiba GT three zero J three two two. That's a fast switching as well, if I remember rightly. Then you got some pretty good capacitors. Um, just there, these ones are that one's two fifty volts, and then you got the five hundred, and this one's a five hundred as well. And these ones are three kV ones. These ones here. There you go, look, 3 kV and 3 kV, and so you've got high voltage diodes. Which uh, these are, um, I can't remember what these are now off the top of my head. I know they're quite high voltage where they have to be, uh, 3000 volts plus. I'll have to Google the part number again and double check on that. <clears throat> and then, of course, you've got the flyback transformer, which is the main um, part of the board. Um, I think it's around about 30 turns I think there is on here might be more and then that's the primary of course and then the secondary is is under there which has got quite a few number of turns on which I have actually rewound these myself and put them onto another fly uh, another ferrite core and got a pretty decent um, flyback transformer out of them by using the secondary scrapping the primary and just using the core out the out of just out of these and putting onto another flyback ferrite core. So, so yeah, there's uh, some pretty useful parts. These heat sinks are good for making ZVS drivers. There's, you know, because there's um, quite a number of um, holes on them, so you can get some good MOSFETs on there. And you can use a load of these to make uh, some sort of capacitor bank, like I've done, to uh, to run that little um, Tesla coil just there. That uh, entails an absolute load of these um, in series so so that's that which is pretty cool some nice good parts off these so yeah if, uh, if you can get older one, one of these they're, they're good for uh, many many parts so and then I've got this TV board which is out of a 26 inch um, I think it was a Philips television if I remember rightly very nice flyback just there it's quite a quite a nice one that is quite big and then you've got lots and lots of goodies on them as well the uh, y wound ceramic resistor and this is the input and there's the instead of using a rectifier I have seen some rectifiers on some TVs it depends if it's a, a pretty decent board they will usually uh, use a, a rectifier because 
it's cheaper to buy these than it is cheaper to buy one of those. You wouldn't think it would be really, would you? Well, yeah, there's lots and lots of parts, some good useful parts to use. Look at those lovely big thick diodes. See, loads of um, loads of nice heat sinks to uh, to make projects up, to make some circuits up. Nice inductor, nice ferrite core. So, so there you go, guys. I thought I'd share that with you. So if this, these are what I've taken off other parts of the um, microwave oven transformer, and this was off the microwave, off the uh, behind the display, and so that was off the. Um, input of the microwave and that was off the power supply side of this board because there was another part there was another part which the mains came in and then it went through a filter and then into this board and that's what I had off it in a couple of caps just inside there as well and of course um, some of the filter it looks like a ballast the way it was wired up to be honest some sort of filter anyway so, thought I'd share that with you. Yes, okay, Anish, you can say hello. <laughs> you enjoying your juice? Bless her. So, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Hope you're all well. Look after yourselves. And hopefully this weekend I'll be going to Scrapyard Saturday. And I'll, uh, if, this, if the weather's nice, I'll make a nice Scrapyard video. Hopefully there might be some pretty good goodies. So, keep your eyes out. Look after yourselves. Be Bye, safe. YouTube. And we will speak again. Bye.